So you want to undervolt your i7 3700K. Well, first of all, congratulations, because you're still running a very good CPU, actually one of my favorite out there. Second of all, this is the right video for you. Now, what we're going to be doing is trying to get the same performance, or actually a bit more performance than stock, while dramatically reducing the power, temperature, and basically everything associated with heat and noise in your system. And this tutorial is actually going to work with 6th gen CPUs as well, because they are the same CPUs, just refreshed and with 8th gen as well, because they're just the same CPUs with two extra cores. So, with that said, we will go into the BIOS and do everything from there. This will work for every motherboard out there, but we're using an ASUS ROG Maximus. And I also have on the channel an overclocking tutorial, so if you're really after the performance, you should check out the overclocking tutorial instead, and maybe check that one out either way, because it's going to be uh, still discussing the BIOS, so it might help you understand a few options. So, with that said, let's get tweaking. Okay, so here we are in the BIOS. Now, first off, a few stats. So what we did here is our actual speed. So our CPU is going at 4.5 GHz, even under AVX, and it's doing so with the cache at 4.2 GHz. Now, first off, enable your XMP. It's basically free performance, okay? What we want to do is basically keep the 4.5 GHz, but get a lower voltage. So how do we do that? Well, first off, we set it to go at 4.5 GHz all the time. So we find the CPU core ratio and put single cores and we put 45 there. So we have 4.5 GHz, done. Now at this point, we want to go all the way down and find something that's called load line calibration. In our case, it's in the external DG Plus power control, and we want to put it to level 3 right there. Here is the actual undervolting, okay? The cache as well, I recommend you just lock it. So 4.2 GHz, let's just lock it out. Then I can also tell you how you can play around with it a little bit, but 42 right there. Under CPU core slash cache voltage, there are two ways we can do this. So we can go in offset, go into minus, and just put 0.05, and this is going to work, basically it's going to keep your CPU running dynamically, like it was before, but this time with locked cache and locked CPU core ratio, but with a little bit less voltage. And you can actually do this with a dynamic core and cache ratio. So by leaving those on auto, right there, if we just put minus 0.05, it's going to be running a little bit cooler and quieter. So keep that in mind. But here's how you do it the serious way. You put it into manual mode and you start from 1.2. Now, at this point, you want to hit F10, save the settings, go into Windows and test it out. Test it out if it's stable, test it out how it's running, all of that good stuff. And then if it's crashing, give it a bit more voltage. For example, 1.225. You want to go up in 25 at a time. But if it's stable, you might want to try 1.175. And now, the lower you go here, the lower the temperature, the lower the noise, the better your CPU is going to run. And really, there are no downsides. But you want to make sure that it is stable, because the higher you go here, the more stable it is. Now, once you have reached the stability, let's say 1.2, or once you have reached the temperatures you want, you can then, if you want, increase a bit the cache or the core ratio. So we are doing a bit of voltage point overclocking. This will actually result in more performance. So for example, let's say with, uh, that my CPU was overheating at stock, but with 1.2 volts, it is no longer overheating. Nice. At this point, maybe I can push it a bit higher on 1.2 volts. For example, I might be able to do 4.6, which is free performance. So this is basically how you play around with the BIOS to undervolt your 6th, 7th, 8th, and even 9th actually gen CPU. They all have the same settings pretty much. So if it was any helpful, please drop a like and a sub, and hopefully I will see you guys in the next video very soon. Goodbye.